Hello, I'm Dale Dempsey and the product I will be showing you today is called Limelike. Limelike is like a lime wash but without the lime and is available in a range of colours and sizes. Most brick will accept Limelike because um, as long as they're standard clay bricks then it will work fine. What I'm going to do now is try a sample sachet and see how it fixes to the brick type. These are our sample sachets and they'll make up 125 mils. This will give you a good idea of how much area it will cover and we're going to simply open it and then add water to it. And that's the powder. I'm going to add this to the pot and then we're going to add 100 mils of water. And give it a stir. And mix it until it's gone smooth and there's no lumps. And then you need that to stand for about 90 minutes just so that it reaches mineral saturation, so all the, all the powder is saturated. Right, so I've waited 90 minutes, so now we're going to put some on a test area. So you need to make sure you stir it. Because it will, it will settle if you leave it, so you've just got to ensure that each time you put your brush in that you give it a stir. And then I'm going to do it to a small test area first. I'm going to do these bricks here, just to see how it covers this particular brick. And I'm going over the mortar as well. You don't have to go over the mortar, but for this effect I'm going to. So I'm happy with the way that's covering on this particular brick. So we just need to leave that to dry and see. But that looks to be covering nicely so I might actually do the whole panel now anyway. What I'm going to do is add this to a, a bigger pot so I can get a bigger brush in there. I'm just going to pour that sample into there. And then with this bigger brush, I'm going to apply this now to a larger area. Sometimes if your brick is very absorbent, you probably need to do two coats but you would need to wait a few hours before you put the second coat on. And if you can hear jets in the background, that's RAF Marham. So you can see how far this sample sachet has done quite a lot of area. And I'm going to leave a patch so you can see the difference. Yeah, so I'm going to just come down here.
I mean, you can see this, you can still see a bit of the features of the brick left in it. So, um, it's not like a paint that is film forming, so it actually will fuse to the available silica in the clay of the brick. So it'll actually become part of the brick and it'll be breathable and durable. And also, if you've got, it still shows some of the features of the, of the brick through. So it looks, it'll still look natural as a brick does. So I'm going to leave that to dry now. And if you get it on your hands, you just wash it off with water. It's completely safe. And that's what you do with your brushes as well. You just wash those out with water. But if you're having a break, what you can do is just put some polythene around your brushes just to make sure that they don't go dry. And when you're working with the product, you need to put a lid on whatever you're doing because you don't want the the product drying and flaking off inside. It'll never flake off the brick though. <laughs> okay, so we're now back at the panel and we've left this for 24 hours to dry and to fully fix to the brick. And so we're just gonna test if it has fixed to the brick and I've got a, a black woolen glove here. So what I'm gonna do is wipe this brick just to see if there's any white coming off. Sometimes you might get a tiny, tiny bit coming off or some rub off, but that's quite natural. If you've got too much coming off, then it could be a problem. Ideally, what you need to do now is pressure wash the board to make sure that the product has fused to the silica in the clay of the brick. And that looks good.